Light. What is up, you guys? And of course, always welcome back to another Wi Fi battle versus Chase from Reddit. And uh, yeah, you know, it is like it always is, and it is always scary when you go against Reddit player. Uh, the team I'm using is based on Flapple, and I had a, a vision, an idea once um, the grassing light was available, but never really got into using it. So it may not be as viable, but I just want to have fun with this. Oh. <laughs> you know, you know. Huh. Well, I guess that's my fault for going into Reddit. Um, so the way I see it, I have... Um, should start off with Fade, actually. Um, this is a tough team for all the right reasons. Um, if I were to look into um, what I expect, uh, Shuckle's going to be the lead with most likely dual hazards. And um, I can't do anything about Sticky Web, but then again, I'm not necessarily super weak against Sticky Web inherently. But I want to try to do well. So basically, if the Chuckle is the lead, I'm going to lead up with um, my Rillaboom U turn. And um, I don't have U turn this set, by the way. So, <laughs> and of course, switching to my. Um, Fable basically nasty plot up and get my unburdened boost early just to make sure that I get as much out of it as possible because here comes the, <laughs> the struggle <laughs> wonderful name by the way uh, because the thing I want to do is force my opponent not to be able to capitalize on um, on a um, special thief uh, or a special thief variant um, of uh, Mars Shadow if it is scarf that he can try to use that against me so I want to take everything in my power to avoid that. Oh, yeah, that's the play. So if I do this right and he doesn't expect it, this could be a very short battle. If you predict this right, then uh, it could also be a short battle, but clearly not in my favor. Uh, but I expect stick web or self rock either way. Let's see, stick web, fine. We do have like two or three priority uses with grassy search and whatnot, uh, so it shouldn't be the worst in the world. So nasty plot here. I could be greedy and go for two of these, but um, I want to see what it wants to do. South rocks, fair exchange. I think I'm forced to go for another nasty plot, no matter what. Usually these have like final gambit and whatnot. Uh, Mars Shadow, there we go. There we go. So Dynamax here and we go for the Max Mindstorm. That's the only play. He could be special thief. Or a special thief, anyway, it will be focus sashed. And if he's focus sashed, he still can't uh, prioritize me. So I'll try to abuse that, though he will steal my uh, boost, which will be unfortunate. I do at speed, which is nice. Yeah, yeah, I kind of figure it could be. So it's sashed, it's alright. But he can't use anything like Shadow Sneak to kill me. That is, if close combat is enough. No, he just steals my boost. So it's not the worst in the world. As we took time with ease. And I guess... I yeah, would just go for max darkness. Nothing of these moves really boost myself. But no matter what, at least the Mars Shadow won't get the best of me. <laughs> so I'm done with that. That was a weird scenario, wasn't it? Um, the thing is, I want to keep my burden and just go as far as I can. Let's see. Mel Metal. So 
gonna go for the Burning Yellow Sea and just really get as much damage in there as possible. If he's smart, I'd probably say he should Dynamax himself and uh, just go for the Max God. Just decides not to. Um, this should do good damage, but yeah, nowhere near a KO for sure. Hmm. Double Iron Bash. Ooh, it looks to be a KO. Yeah. Looks how about it was. Still though, no more shadow like revenge sweep, which is nice. Um <laughs> So I wanna go about this. Could send in feed, I can also send in Sir Quack. Which not sure if I would speed, but um Oh yeah, why am I? Yeah, I'm scrappy, not defiant, of course. So I go for close combat here. I think it's fairly safe. Brings in the struggle, which is alright. We should do fair damage here. Oh yeah, we're in this. Oh the crit! I was like, hmm, I could, I could get that with that damage. So what do we know that Shackle has? Stealth Rock, Sticky Web, could have Encore, which by the way would allow my opposing Pokemon or opposing team here to friend me somewhat. So that's always nasty. And so I can actually do this, because I don't want any residuals on these mods if I don't have to. It would have been nice with Defog, I kind of feel that now. So either like Encore or Final Gambit. Stealth Rocks. Wait, why? Well, never mind, I guess it was a sack play then. Um, the original downside for me of actually going for Soul Stats here is it. Because there's a lot of steel types that just don't give too much about what I'm all about. But I can at least threaten them a little bit. A potential sack play, if you may. Because I think Grassy Glide is. Well within the KO, at least. Wow, he switches out, actually. Hmm. Two. Cryo Blaze, I'll say. What do we even do against, like, mods like this? Oh. You know what? We kill them. We kill them dead, actually. Somehow that was not a switching. Somehow that was not a switching. Though, oh, oh yeah, Dynamax. So I guess it was. <laughs> I got greedy. Still though, let's think about this. Like I, I won't KO here for sure, and I'll lose my Rillaboom. Here comes the Max Flare. I just don't know how many... Just the damage. just don't know how many turns I got left of this... Um, of the terrain. Got recovery. So I figure I have one more terrain turn in me. And if so, I'm gonna try to view that. Hang in there, Obscura. I get my grassy, I <laughs> get my boost, and um, basically, I mean, hustle grassy line could could be dangerous if I connect it. Wasn't the KO, <laughs> damn it! 
<laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I was trying to build this up too, like, ooh, we are in this. But no, no, no. We are, um, we are in a in a rough patch, to say the least. Then again, um, it's not the worst. I got the first impression with Sir Quack, and that could be could be plenty actually. It is just. While I think Surfetch is somewhat bulky, it's not on par with the mods I'm gonna be following here. But we'll take him out. Nothing to it. First impression is one hell of a move, and now with a potential 50% crit, you know you know exactly what this is all about. This is how you use the Surfetch. True Pokemon players, elite players use the leak. Don't know why, it just happened to become that. So here comes Necrozma. Um, I'll be honest, I don't know what Necrozma is doing, but yeah, can get a neutral hit on it, which is nice. I'm gonna send in Osma. The way I see it, um, at least Osma should be able to stomach something here, but I just don't know how much I can uh, pressure him. I am regenerator, so I'm just really looking to try to soak hits. Photon Geisha does. Uh, a bit on a rougher patch there. A bit on a rougher patch, yeah. Yeah, we're not going to be able to take another one of those either. But there is just no reason to um, overcomplicate things here. Ah, This was a rough game. Then again, you know, you go into Reddit. You ask him for those, um, those nice OUs, and, and you get this. <laughs> I think, however, um, I should be able to be taking a hit here, and hopefully we do something back. Because sometimes you don't need to win the game, you just need to win the battle. I think you guys understand what I mean by that. It's about sending the message. Let's see, Fulton Geisha, how much will it do? Wow, damage for sure. You know what? I'm good. I'm good with that damage. I'm good with that. <sighs> like I said, somewhat above my league, I guess. And I tried my best I could to not be reverse sweet by Ma Shadow, but it did kind of come back and bite me in the ass. I won't deny that. But I think I held out somewhat well. Hopefully, our, the games that will follow are not as uneven. Come on, Sack play this and we want to. Coward. <laughs> so, yeah, let's play with the idea that, um, I mean, Metal Metal and, of course, Shuckle are no threat versus this at all. So. Well, it's Sekrom left, which absolutely beats this set. And um, without the first impression, Necrozma wins versus this set too. So I figure I should probably consider defogging for sure. So probably gonna look over that with the team because uh, I don't want to be in a sticky web environment where I can't parry that. I didn't necessarily give that much thought into it, but looking at it, all my mons are considered. Uh, I was gonna say float, but uh, grounded. So this absolutely became an issue, even though every mon here outspeeds me. Would have been nice if I survived as Photon Geisha, but it's just above, like a league above me. The Crossma is just so much more than you know your average mon. So yeah, GG to Chase. Um, nice OU team you got there. <laughs> I actually, you know what? I take my win here. I I think I played this good enough, but uh, this was definitely. Um, a step above what I wasn't, what I was planning for. So with that said, guys, as always, thank you for watching, and uh, you know, don't forget to like and subscribe and whatnot. And really, have a great day, everyone. Take care.